He, he, he go mess around and lose my vote. This video is brought to you by Beating Black and Blue. Beating Black and Blue, being a black cop in America. And this is my brand new book. Uh, link is in the description section. If you already got the book, make sure you write a review on Amazon. It's available on Amazon as well. Uh, make sure you download this on all podcasting platforms. Anyone that you use, it's available. The link is also in the description section. Like and subscribe to this channel on YouTube. Y'all know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. I was hot yesterday and I made a video on Instagram about Donald Trump and 99.9% .9 of people uh, agree with me and, and admitted to the fact that the thing that I'm, a, what I'm about to show you, just in part, obviously this wasn't a total interview, that what I'm about to show you in part has turned off a lot of people. I'm going to give an explanation of why, and I'm going to try to be balanced and reasonable when I do give this approach. So before I start, I want to play this video. Again, this is just a clip of Candace Owens interviewing a Donald Trump. I encourage you, if you want the full context, to go watch it. In no way, form, or fashion am I saying this is a knock against Candace Owens. I feel like she asked the man a question. They can agree to disagree. But, you know, black people can't. They, they want to find anything they can to make Candace Owens look bad. They won't talk about nothing about Trump unless he's saying what they think he's trying to say to bolster um, their side of it. So, but let me play this. Um, and you guys are smart enough to understand the context. Wrote a film about the mandates that people have to have their freedom but at the same time the vaccine is one of the greatest achievements of mankind we would have had a 1917 remember the spanish flu killed perhaps a hundred million people actually it ended the first world war because the soldiers were so a lot of people don't know that the soldiers got so sick it was a terrible thing there were no vaccines there were no anything i came up with a vaccine with three vaccines mm -hmm. all are very very good Came up with three of them in less than nine months. It was supposed to take five to 12 years. And, and yet we more saved... people have died under COVID. So they cut, they end up cutting Candace. But Candace said more people, this is the statement from Candace Owens, said more people have died under COVID under Biden's administration than Trump's administration, which is a fact. They cut that off because they don't want to hear her talk about nothing else. But let's talk about this for a minute. Because I am incredibly turned off by Trump pushing the juice. I'm, I'm incredibly turned off by it. Why, Mr. Tatum? Because we fall into the very trap that these leftist lunatics want us to fall under. I don't believe in mandating the Jews. I don't believe in mandating the Jews. I think you have you should have the freedom to live or die if you want to. They don't mandate the, the flu vaccine. They don't mandate none of this other stuff. Why in the world would they be mandating this? I know why. YouTube don't want me to talk about why, but I know why. Everybody knows why at this point if you're awake. However, what is Trump doing and how is that going to affect us? First, I will say, I thought he was a tremendously good president. I thought he did a lot of great things in his administration. He's one of my favorite presidents for sure. Towards the end of his career as the president, um, I felt like he went out soft. He went out with his tail between his legs. That's how I feel based on the things that he said. Of course, I'm not behind the scenes. I don't know everything. But I felt like he went out like a coward, and I said that a long time ago. He wasn't. He said he wasn't going to concede. He conceded. Um, all this whole stuff about the election and stuff that he was talking about. Hey, you pushed it, and then when people responded to actually stand up for what they believe was was, was something that was done wrong on January sixth, what did you do? You came out against them, and what did the left do? Oh, they ate it up, and now these people are sitting in detention right now for uh, uh, um, indefinitely. Some of them, and now let's move on to the to the Jews. You're pushing the Jews. You're saying it's the greatest achievement ever made, it, 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 the greatest achievement of mankind. Now, now, if this is the greatest achievement of mankind, why wouldn't it be mandated? This, 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 this riddle me this, Batman. How stupid are you? And now I'm to my Trump. How stupid are you to make a statement to say this is the greatest achievement of mankind? It saved the world, but I don't think it should be mandated. What are you even saying? And I don't understand why Republicans have to continue to put their foot in their mouth when they talk about these things. Why are you trying to kiss the rear ends of leftists so bad? You think you're going to meet them in the middle? You're not meeting people in the middle. They hate you. They want to see you in rot in prison. If you think you're going to meet them in the middle because you are now pushing rhetoric about the juice that's favorable to the left, and then you want to try to meet your base in the middle by saying, but I don't think it should be mandated. You are not the president. You won't be the president for at least three years. 
the more you push that this is the greatest accomplishment ever, this is the safest accomplishment ever, everybody should get it, the more they mandate and the more they justify alienating people over this particular juice. Alienating people. The cure can't be worse than the problem. They're alienating people. People can't even go to Thanksgiving dinner with their family because of this. Many people are complaining of that. You can't go out to eat. You can't do this. You can't do it. And it's a total contradiction, if you ask me. But he pushing it. And I think this is where he, this is where he failed at. And, and it's turned me off, to be honest. If he was the only Republican running in right now, and the election was today, he was the only Republican running that I felt was viable, I would vote for him, okay? I'm not stupid. I don't want a leftist in office. I don't care what I think about him. I will never let a communist leftist be in office and get my vote. Never going to happen. Uh, maybe when I'm dead, maybe they'll vote for me. But it's never going to happen. But if it was DeSantis or Trump, I'll pick DeSantis. If it was Trump or another alternative to Trump, in my opinion, a person that's cleaner, that when I say cleaner, that can, that can actually speak coherent sentences consistently, that there's not going to be p petty arguing with LeBron James and them, that's not going to be pushing the Jews. Hey, then, I, hey, I, I would, I would, I would think about voting for somebody different. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm being honest about. It. I, I think Trump was great. I think he did. He served his purpose. And I say this every speech I made. This is not nothing new. If you watch me live, you know what I'm saying. And I said this on Candace Owens' show, is that I think that Trump served his purpose, and I think it's time to move on. I really do think it's time to move on. And if he's the only, like I said, if he's the only candidate, I got to vote for him. I'm not going to vote for no liberal. But it's time to move on. It's time to move on from, from, from this stuff, man. People have, have created and made this man a god. He was a good president. That's it. And at the point in which I believe that you're not effective anymore, we got we to gotta make, gotta make another move. That's like being with a girl, with, with you being, having a girlfriend, and then, and then y'all break up. Y'all have differences. Y'all move on. And then you want to go back to the old old spilt milk. That's not the, what you do. You move on to something different. Y'all had y'all time. Y'all enjoyed it. And y'all moved on. It's time to move on. And, and, and you can't keep going back to the same old broken record. They impeached the man twice. They indicted everybody he was around. And then he went out like he did. What you think going to happen when he run again? They're going to find a way to impeach him again. Ain't no he can't he can't find people he can trust. It's just gonna be a crap show the entire second time that he's running for office. So this is what I will say. I'm upset with him pushing the juice. Most people agree with me, and I don't care if they agree with me. I don't give up if people agree with me. But I see a lot of people expressing that they they have a consistent thought that I have with him pushing the juice. This stuff is going to cause us to be in a bigger problem than it than it's not. You're not going to win people over. They already hate you. And those people will never vote for you ever again. You ain't going to win them in the middle by pushing the juice. Your people want you to be fair about the conversation. There's nothing wrong with saying that people should get the vaccination. I think people should get it. If that's if that's what you want to do, if you fall into that category and your doctor is giving you medical advice to do it and you want to trust your doctor's medical advice, do it. Do it every day of the week. I don't care. But if you make the decision to say you do not want to, you should have the freedom to say, look, I don't want to do that. I don't think it's safe. I don't think it's a good decision for me and my family. But the way you, your boy acting, he, 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 I, don't know, I don't know if he would stand up when he's in office again. I don't know if he, I don't know if he would stand up for it. I don't know. I'm questioning it. Anyway, like and subscribe, comment, and let me know what you think about it. You agree, you disagree, it's fair. It's America. Everybody don't have to agree with me. And if you disagree, just say you disagree. Don't act like a chump. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of people on social media, and this has been building up over days, It's being complete chumps. You can disagree with me. I don't care. But have some common sense. And be able to articulate the reason why you disagree, or just don't follow me. You're not hurting. You're not hurting my feelings. I don't give a. I don't give a about you uh, disliking me and unfollowing me. I don't care. Anyway, let me get off here before I get mad.
I love you guys. Appreciate you. I check check me out on the next stream. I'm out. Oh,